Alright, today we're going to talk about the, the Samsung P2 new firmware upgrade called Blue Wave. Now with other um, companies when they're doing a firmware upgrade it's usually just to uh, like usually fix bugs or clean up problems that they've got with the unit. Now with this, uh, with the new P2 one, Blue Wave, you actually, uh, you're getting a lot more features that make the unit even more better, even better than it was before. Um, you get Bluetooth cell phone calling with it, you get Bluetooth file transfer, and then you also get uh, AAC compatibility which is really neat. Uh, these will all be available to update in uh, December. Now with the Bluetooth phone calling, you can actually pair uh, your P2 with a Bluetooth compatible cell phone and then you can make and receive calls using the P2. So that's pretty neat. That, uh, just keep your phone in your pocket and use the, the MP3 player you already got out. Then with um, Bluetooth file transfer, you'll be able to transfer, send and receive files from the P2 to other Bluetooth devices. So if you want to send music or um, like photos or receive things from like maybe a friend or something, you can do that, which is pretty neat. And then with uh, the AAC compatibility, the AAC files are like an upgraded version of MP3. There's like higher sound quality, so you'll get higher quality music on your P2. That's the same thing as what the uh, the iPods usually use. Now to update the firmware for uh, Blue Wave, you have to go to or if you're using Windows Media Player. Go to Samsung.com, go to Support, and then to Downloads, and you can download it manually from there. Or if you're using uh, SMS, you can do it uh, through the download automatically, so it's faster and you can skip a couple steps. Now let's uh, actually take a closer look at the P2. Okay, this P2 is updated with the uh, first version of the Blue Wave firmware. Let's turn it on and take a look at it. It kicks right up. Oh, you probably recognize Cosmos here as... Uh, what was on the first P2? Uh, it is the same, but it's been updated. Uh, the icons, I can't, don't know if you can tell on the camera here, but uh, the icons are more stylish. They have a 3D look, kind of like it got a facelift, which is nice. Also, the touch sensitivity on here has been improved. Um, actually stops where you want it to stop. Uh, the first version was nice, but uh, it did need some improvements. It looks like they did that. Let's take a look at the music here. we go through, plug this in so we can hear it. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the screen's a little bit different now. The front here um, is bigger. You can see the EQ on it's bigger. We cycle through. All you gotta do is tap and it goes through the different displays. There's the album artwork. Uh, they changed where the type's at. They made the album artwork bigger on here, which is nice. Um, You've got a really nice screen on here, so you might as well use it. And they made a lot better use of the space they've got on the, the screen. Now, um, the music you're listening to on here is also the AAC uh, format, which is greatly improved from MP3. Um, AAC runs uh, 256 kbps, and I ripped it off of a uh, CD using iTunes and dropped it on here, and it works great. Like, it doesn't uh, have any problems when it's working, when it's playing. Uh, compared to MP3, um, AAC has a lot better treble and a lot better bass to it, so better sound quality, so it'll appeal to uh, people who care more about sound quality than just cramming as much as they can onto their MP3 player. So that's nice, you've got a higher quality device here now. Now let's take a look at the uh, Bluetooth. Okay, with the old P2, all you could do with the Bluetooth was uh, listen to the headsets, which is a nice feature, you can play speakers or whatever. But what they do is they updated it with the uh, new Blue Wave firmware update. So you, now you've got uh, the mobile phone function on it, and you've got file transfer on it, which is really neat. Um, kind of maximizes this really like the really cool uh, Bluetooth 2.0 feature on here. Now when using the mobile phone function, you've got your speakers or headset or whatever, and then you've also got the microphone on the bottom of the P2. So you can go ahead and just use that. Keep your phone in your pocket or whatever. And what's really cool about it is uh, when your phone rings, it automatically kicks the communication screen on the P2 so you don't miss a call because you weren't listening or because your music was too loud or whatever. The P2 will let you know when you've got a phone call so you go ahead and get it. Okay, now you can make calls using your P2 which is really neat. Um, see. Call by number. You can see it turns into a touchpad like your phone. Um, it's pretty neat. Just type in any number you want. Whatever. And then it connects I know we're in a call right now, so I'll just disconnect it. You can transfer phone numbers directly from the uh, cell phone right into the P2. 
uh, no delay to it. Right away you can use them, which is nice. Uh, I transfer my friends' numbers into here, and then you can go ahead and check them under uh, Prime Pack, and then go to Address Book. As you saw, that's a pretty cool feature on here. Um, it allows the P2 to act as your cell phone. You don't have to have two devices open. Just keep your phone on the table or in your pocket, and then uh, everything runs straight to the P2 with the Bluetooth. So you get a call, you don't miss it because your earphones were in. Um, also, you have to remember, though, that you need a Bluetooth-compatible cell phone. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Um, and then this is the file transfer function on here. It lets you transfer all file types in the P2 to another P2 including JPEGs, so P2 users can now share uh, photos and phone books and everything else um, without any cables or plugging into the computer. And you're using Bluetooth 2.0 on here, so it makes it pretty fast. Uh, compared to like the T9 transfer speed, the uh, Bluetooth 2.0 transfer is really quick, so you won't be inconvenienced by uh, slow transfer speeds. Alright, so as you saw, the P2 has been kind of like leveled up um, with the Blue Wave firmware upgrade on here. It's uh, the same device, but it's a lot nicer to use. You've got a lot more features, really cool. Um, so I was really impressed by it with this, the first uh, Blue Wave update. I'm looking forward to the second one, see what they do with that. Uh, hopefully it will be out to the public soon. Uh, until next time, see you later.